Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with this video, make sure to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. So today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my Minecraft world. I, You guys probably don't know that I play Minecraft, but I recently got it for my brother's birthday. And um, so I'm going to be giving you a little tour of it today. So um, we're going to go fly over here. So, this is my Minecraft world. It is called Forestville. So, this is the community center, and this sign says, Welcome to Forestville. So, we're going to go in here, and then we just have some nice bookshelves, and we have a window right there, and a window right here with some of the animals. I probably should have shown you that when we were outside. I guess I could just do that right now. So here are animals. We have donkeys, pigs, horses, and a sheep. And then we're going to go back in here. And then over here there is a ladder that we can go up. And then it brings you to these little rooms. So this is room one. These rooms are basically for people who come and they don't have time to finish building their house before night. So it just has a bed and a bookshelf. This one is the same. And then there are two more rooms up here. This is room three, it's also the same. All these rooms are the same. And then this is room four. So that is the community center. And then let me go out here. And I'm gonna fly up. So then this is the village um, there is a sign over here that says Forest Fills Village. So we're going to start with this house. This is my mom's house. It just has her name on that sign. And then... So... Um, this is her... This is the first floor. She has a nice grand window out here. And she has a pool that I can show you. So if we go out this door... Here we have the pool, it's very nice. And then she has some stairs over here. And then this is her bedroom. Before I, um, well, so I just made this house because I wanted to build one because I didn't know what else to build. So I just put a bed with white covers on it because I didn't know, really know who was gonna move in and I didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl so um I just have a white bed there and then um she has four bookshelves and her favorite color my mom's favorite color is yellow but she doesn't really play this so I she hasn't had a chance to change that if she wants to change it and then she also has a chest over here it does nothing in it because she can put her stuff in there um, so now let's go down the stairs because that is all for mom, my mom's house. So then we're going to move on to my house over here. So I just have the sign that says Alice's house. And then this is like, this thing is to keep, um, like, like monsters out at night. Because we have a thing in, at, in our village where... Um, sorry, um, my watch is going off, um, but, um, so this is my house, and, um, so this is my chest room, and I just have, like, a bunch of chests in here. This one has a lot. It's all filled up. And then this one, it has a bunch of eggs. I, I had more, like that's not all of them because there are so many eggs. And then I have this one with like chicken eggs because I used to have chickens and they lay, in, they lay a lot of eggs. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, but I have cats right now. I have a lot of them. I'm probably not going to open the door because I don't want any of them to come out. I think the sun is almost setting, that's why it's really dark. 
Oh, there is a, oh, there are monsters here. That's nice. Um, let me get rid of them. I do not like when monsters come in my house and then they just leave stuff there, but this is my mine. I have some torches to light up the area. So I have this one, this little room, I don't really use that, but then I have a mind cat because she's just down here. She likes staying there. And then I have a bed. I think the sun is almost setting so I could go to bed right now. I might do that because I can hardly see. Okay, so I think I'm going to bed because I cannot see a thing. So this is my upstairs. I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just go to sleep so that you'll be able to see more. There we go. But this is my upstairs. I have this little glass wall to keep you like, like, so here's the ladder. And then I just have a glass wall here for no, for no reason. And then this is my bed. And then I have bookshelves. And then I have a gate up here because I can fly so I can come down like this and get out and then this is my grand window it's not that great but and then i have more of the these little like things i think they're called trapped trap doors and like i said they're to keep monsters out but this is my deck it also has a gate over here because this is my pool it has glass around it so no water zombies can come in and then, so that's all for my house. Oh, and then up here I have this like nice pink roof. And then, so the next house that I will show you is my cousin's house. So we built this for him. He has a sign with his name on it. He also has cats, I'm kind of scared because I don't want any of them to escape, but um, here are his cats. He hasn't named them because he hasn't really played with us yet. And then he has a chest down here. I don't think it has anything in it. Nope, it does not. But then if we go out this door, it will bring us to his pool that we kind of have updated because we made him a second floor since we, like, one of the last few times we've played. So me and my brother, this is our little Minecraft world, so we made him an upstairs. So that's why there's this ladder is here. So if we go up here, this is his bedroom. He has a nice blue bed and then two bookshelves. And then he has some chests over here. They don't have anything in them. Yeah. I'm not sure if he needs the chest down here though, if he has two chests up there. Um, like you see, he has that chest. I'm not sure if he needs that there. But I'm going to go out this door so none of his cats escape because that's the worst when your animal escapes. So then we're going to go over here and then this sign says Forestville Library. So we're going to go in here. Oh, there are, there is a sand block here for some reason. Um... But here is the library. It has an, like three rows of books. So here's one and then another and another. And then if we go over here, this says reading corner is outside. So if we go over here, oops, um, this we have a nice deck where you can read outside. But the problem is when it's raining, you can't, um, come out here and read but that's okay because we can read inside but then we're just gonna go through this little corner and then um this is my brother's tree house my george's tree house oh and i forgot to show you my tree house over here this is my tree house so if we open this door and we and close that this is my bed here Kind of hidden because there are stairs over here i cannot get up here we go it is kind of dark in here but if we come up 
it will bring us to the little deck that I have. So that's my tree house, and then I'll show you my brother's tree house. Um, it's nothing like mine, but that's okay. If you wanted to build it like this, you can. So he built an actual, like a mini house in the tree, and then he just has an orange bed there. So not too much. But then let me show you this house. It's like a giant tree house. Like it's a house that's designed to be like a tree house. It is my grandma's house. And then um, I cannot get in for some reason. Let me open this one too. There we go. So this is my grandma's house. It has a nice green rug. And then she has two chests with nothing in them because she has not played and like, yeah. But this is her bed. And then she has some windows and her roof is leaves. And then she has a window. Oh, there is a trader outside. If that's, that is a trader. They are very annoying because I keep saying they're not welcome because this is just me and my brother's world. So then we move on to George's house. He has a sign with his name on it as well. So then his, this is his house. Oops, I just like went through the door or something. But this is his house. He has a sheep and a cow. And then he also has pandas. Here's one and then there is the other. And then he has a very nice window over here and a window over there. His house is really big, so he needs a lot of windows. And then, oh, he also has a bunny. And then this is his door to his deck. He has a cat, another bunny, and a mushroom. It's like, I think it's a sheep that's like a mushroom. I'm not really sure, but... It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but so now we are going to go in here. And let me close the door. Uh oh, his cat came in, but he can fix that. But now we are going to go upstairs. Um, sorry, my watch is always like, I don't know, it like goes off when I get a message or something. But here is his upstairs. He has bookshelves over here and then a window because it's kind of dark up here. And then he has some chests. Um, he plays this a lot, so he has stuff in here. And then this one, I think, yeah, this one's full. And then here are his beds. I don't know why it's like that. He used to have one right here and it was like a triple bed, but I don't know what happened to that one. But yeah, so that is George's house. And oh, that's a big window that he has and I better go outside before any of his animals escape. Is that a sheep? No, his sheep did not escape. His sheep is in there, I think. But I don't think it would have escaped. But So he has a pool and there is a little guy over there. This is his pool. And then, so if we go over here, there are two more houses in Forestville. So this is my dad's house it is kind of dark in here um i'm just going to um do something real quick i'm going to place some lanterns down so that you guys can see um but we're going to open this door because this is his bedroom he has a bed here and a chest has nothing in it because he has not played this yet And then I forget, does he have another room? No, he does not have another room, but he ha he also has a lot of windows because um, his house is very dark, but I'm going to get rid of these lanterns. Um, and then I will head out the door because that is all for my dad's house. And then he has a gray tower thing there. And then this is my grandpa's house. He has a very nice big window up here. And then he has this door. Oh, by the way, his house is made out of diamonds because my brother made it. And then he has, so he has a couch. And then he has a window over here and he has a deck. 
if you can see out the window. And then, so he, ha he has a door over here to his deck. And then I'll talk about that later. Um, but let me go upstairs. Oh, I need to use the ladder, it's not a loft, okay. So he has a lot of chests up here. Um, some of them are empty, empty, some of them are not. This one is empty. This one has a ton of diamonds. This one has more diamonds with, and his door, a chest, and diamond blocks. Another chest that's empty, and another chest that's empty. And then we, did we check this one? Yes, we did. So this one and this one's are the only one that, the only ones that are not empty. But that is all for Forestville, and it is getting dark. As you can see, the sun is setting. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna show you this real quick. So this is like a lava thing. Um, me or my brother did not make this. We made this, like, or we didn't make it, but we found it one day. But I'm not really sure what it is. I think George knows what it is, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, since I'm right here at my grandpa's house, I'm just going to go to sleep in his bed because I'm not gonna go all the way back to my house because I have something to show you that's right over here, so why not go to sleep in his house? So we're gonna go out and over here past my dad's house, and you can see there are two more buildings over there that I'll explain about in just a second. So if you go over here to this little area, it says, and this sign says end of Forestville, and then this says welcome to Emptyville. So this is Emptyville, it's basically because, it's called Emptyville because there are no trees in Forestville, it has a ton of trees as you can see. And then, so this is Zombie Castle, it has a ton of zombies in there. There are zombie hands, I'm not gonna open that though because there are zombies in there and I don't wanna go in there. And then here is their pen of zombie horses. Last time I checked this, they had all gotten out, so I had to get more of them. But then this is Skeleton Tower. I cannot open these doors because you need like a pressure plate or whatever it's called to open the door. And I do not want to do that because then the skeletons will open the door. And there they are. One has a golden helmet and I don't know how they got it, but that is Skeleton Tower. It does have an upstairs, but I doubt all, any of them are up there. But then they have a skeleton little like farm, basically, or like a pen with skeletons, skeleton horses in it. And then we're going to go back this way and over here. So, oh, there is a cat over here and I don't know how it got over here. I don't want this to be, I hope this isn't my cat. Oops, sorry guys. Um, But I hope this isn't my cat. Cause I have a cat, but just like this. No, this might've been my cousin's cat. I don't know, but there's a cat there, but yeah. So then if we go around this way, there is another, there's a sign over here that says the forbidden mine. A mine is basically just where you go down and it's like, this and it's very dark down there and I do not want to get lost because something has happened like that before so me and my brother so my brother had gone down this cave in our first Minecraft world and then he ended up in this different world and he couldn't get back so then he made me go into the cave to try and find him and then I got lost in the cave so then we had to start a new world so yeah we are not going down the mine but then this says Forestville's Forest, so basically you kind of do like a loop around a loop around Emptyville to come back to where we started over here by the community center. So that is me and my brother's um, Minecraft world. It is very nice. It's our, probably our best one because this one has the most houses in it. But I hope you guys like our Minecraft world and 
yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!